This is Matrix Lord 212, and um, in the news lately, Hugo Weaving has been spinning a lot of stuff. Um, you know, talking that he don't want to return as the Red Skull with Marvel. And now, um, it turns out that he, he makes a mention of Megatron, where he did a voiceover for him, and he says that Megatron is basically meaningless. Um, you know, well, it was meaningless to him. Uh, but word got back to Michael Bay, and Michael Bay flipped out. Uh, let me give you some information about this. Um, basically, um, early this week, Hugo Weaving... Uh, voice of, of head honcho Decepticon Megatron dismissed his work on the blockbuster trilogy as meaningless. Uh, director Michael Bay got wind of it and uh, was firing back. Um, you know, he said earlier too uh, that he expressed his reluctance, reluctance to once again be the Red Skull in a future Marvel flick. Uh, we even talked about his work as Megatron and how little it really meant to him in part because of the way he did the role. He says, uh, that's a weird job for me because I, it honestly was a two-hour voiceover initially. Uh, I was doing a play and I actually didn't have the time anyway. It was one of those things I've ever I've ever done that I had no knowledge of it. I didn't care about it. I didn't think about it. They wanted me to do it. In one way, I regret that bit. Uh, I don't regret doing it, but I rarely, uh, I very rarely do something that's meaningless. It was meaningless to me, honestly. I don't mean that in a nasty way. I did it. It was a two-hour vo uh, voice job while I was doing other things. Of course, it was a massive film, and that made massive, massive amounts of money. It just happened to be the voice of one of the Ionic villain characters. But my link to that and to Michael Bay is so minimal. I have never met him. I was never on set. I've seen his face on Skype. I know nothing about him, really. It was just, I just went in and did it. I never read the script. I just have my lines, and I don't know what they mean. That's absolutely pathetic. Uh, I've never done anything like that in my life. It's hard to say any more about it, really. Uh, and then Michael Bay just lost it lost it <laughs> wow um you know and he just basically said this uh, do you ever get sick of act this is michael bay do you ever get sick of actors that make 15 million a picture or even 200,000 for voice work that took a brisk one hour and 43 minutes to complete and then complain about their jobs with all the problems facing our world today do these grumbling thespians really think people reading the news actually care about trivial complaints that their job wasn't artistic enough or fulfilling enough. I guess the Hollywood Reporter thinks so. What happened to the people who had integrity, who did a job, got paid for their work, they just smiled afterwards? Be happy you even have a job, let alone a job that pays you more than 98% of people in America. I have a wonderful idea for all those whiners. They can give their unhappy job money to a wonderful elephant rescue. It's the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust in Africa. I will match the funds they donate. Uh, you know, Bay, Bay seems to have pointed out too, even if things do get a bit rambly by the time he gets to, to take your money and shut up or use a save an elephant bit, uh, weaving is paid handsomely for such things. Uh, you know, you can't really blame the actor for being fulfilled. Uh, not being fulfilled when he voices a giant robot. <laughs> oh man, this is just this is just ridiculous. Um, my opinion on the subject, really, uh, you know, I it's it's good to be honest sometimes, but sometimes you just got to keep things to yourself. And um, you know, you don't want to insult. Uh, you don't want to burn your bridges, really. Uh, Hugo Weaving is, is a, a, a great, amazing actor. He has done the Matrix trilogy. He's done the Transformer voice for Megatron. He's done. He's in Cloud Atlas. He does a lot of different things, and he's even Red Skull in Captain America movie. But the last thing you want to do is, I mean, twice in one week you, you piss off like Marvel Comics, and then you piss off Michael Bay. Uh, you know, if you keep doing it, it's like the ego existing that I put in my books. If you keep making like an issue about how what a crap uh, 
uh, role that was or a crap thing, I mean, you're not going to get any roles. Uh, you know, common sense. I mean, you don't piss off. Just just don't even say anything. But, you know, Yugo Weaving decided to make a couple comments. And you know what? Marvel Comics probably, I, I think they'll probably force him to do Red Skull for spite. Just, just for the sheer you know, arrogance of it, because, like, he is on the contract, and he, he has to, if they ask him, and what is he going to do, he's going to play the role badly, which, you know what, of every single part, every single part that he has ever played, the Red Skull, in my opinion, was the biggest disappointment that I feel uh, of his performance is. I, I did not like his performance as the Red Skull, uh, but that's my opinion. Um, I've liked everything he's done, but I did not like his Red Skull performance at all. Um, and, you know, I was shocked because I love everything he does. Uh, but, you know, he's in Lord of the Rings also. But, um, you know, I, I really believe, you know, if you're not happy, I mean, and it's true, though. Michael Bay brings up a lot of points. I mean... You know, you don't even understand, like, in this country, like, people working their ass off, excuse my language, making minimum wage, maybe seven, eight thousand an hour, uh, and, and people make two hundred thousand dollars for two hours worth of work, and, and they complain about it. <laughs> wow. Um, and in a way, it is complaining, because, like, why even whine about it, you know, and I'm not saying anything against uh, Hugo Weaving or Michael Bay, I mean, I agree with Michael Bay, but, um, I just feel that that's, that's, bad form, really, because, you know, he had a great role in Captain America, and, and he started bad mouthing the Red Skull character in, in Marvel, so, uh, you know, I think Marvel will force him to do it, to tell you the truth, so, that's it, that's my rant on that, um, you go weaving, please don't bad mouth any other companies, because if, if you do, I mean, you may not get the roles that you want.